Come on, you don't hear it. Hallelujah. He found you. I'm not going to go He came looking for you. What the Bible are you talking about? From your mother's womb, he chose you. Lift your right hand and tell me to prophesy over you today. I have chosen you to succeed. I have chosen you to survive. I have chosen you to make it. I have chosen you to outlast it. I have chosen you to outlive it. over this 2008 conference. Mm. Because the Lord spoke and, and he spoke to me something last night. Now I know what I just can be sure you who has a watch? What I watch for Give me your watch, please. I'll give it back to you. If I watch my message right my wife, so Medassi. The Lord spoke to me something last night. He said, when God gives an assignment to a man or woman of God, Pastor Prince, the Lord revealed to me that the enemy also draws up his counter assignment. During the same space. So when God called this ministry, and when God calls you to marry your husband, when God landed your foot on the nation of Italy, on European soil, I will approach you at the the moment you were born. God released his assignment. And in that same space of time, the enemy also draws his own diabolical document. God has a purpose and a plan that you must complete. Because you were not born on accident. The enemy has also in his diabolical documents. He has decreed certain things that he will send against your life. To make sure that you do not fulfill that purpose in which God called you. So, in other words, the enemy draws a contract. It's almost like a contract that he develops. That contract has an assignment. Certain things he's going to do. I'm going to attack your body. I'm going to attack your mind. I'm going to attack your finances. I'm going to cause your spouse to mistreat you. And in this, these assignments are 
cross-referenced against your personality. Cross-referenced against your strengths and your weaknesses. Now, to somehow divert you from the purpose in which God called you. Here's the good part. Hey. At the bottom of that contract, that contract has an expiration date. Amen. Yeah. I said at the bottom of that contract, it has an expiration date. That the enemy only has a certain amount of time to do this thing to you. To do this thing to your family. To do this thing to your body. To do this thing to your ministry. To do this thing to your church. He has a certain amount of time to do this. He does not successfully complete his assignment. In that amount of time allotted to him, he must cease and desist and the contract becomes null and void. I said, what is it about this conference? Now, if you sit on your seat and you do not celebrate the king, you will not get the results of this prophecy. The Lord says the reason why there is an excitement in the air is the significance of this 2008 uplifting conference. Is because the enemy knows but something said his time is up. No, no, no. You you didn't get it. I just prophesied to you that over the course of this weekend, every contract. Over your life, over this church, over your finances, over your health. We're going to try that again. And this time I want you to act like you want the blessing in your hand right now. He knows this. Season. This year. This weekend. Time is up. Somebody give the Lord a clap and a shout if you can leave. And I want you to shake three people's hand and tell them, I told you I'll be back. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you I'll be back. Time is up. Did you ever see that? Time is up. So oh, somebody give the Lord a clap and a shout.
give it to you. What year is it? A shock of Uncle Sue, Mr. Watson. What year is it? 2000. I'll be measured. 